Her body's gold like September She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. This is stop number three on our cruise and Chels, where are we going today? We are going to Stingray City in Antigua. You guys know yesterday I was feeling a little bit down towards the end of the day. Still feeling a little bit down to be honest. Feeling like, I don't know, like drainage and stuff in the back of my throat, but hopefully we're okay. We got this. We'll see what happens, but we've got like three minutes to get to the other side of the ship. Do you see the pattern on this casino right now? Yeah. My shorts, what in the world? Number six. Number six? Lucky yes, number sir. six? All right. That's the number. I like it. So this is just kind of like a meeting spot. Yesterday we met at a pool outside the ship. Today we're inside the ship. So we're just going to sit in this area. This is the theater, by the way, guys. I don't think we've really showed them this yet. We haven't even been here yet. Our favorite show is the Love and Marriage Game Show. They put like three couples up there and make them like answer questions and all kinds of crazy stuff. That's towards the end of the cruise though, so we haven't been here yet. You got a boyfriend on the island you need to tell me about? Welcome to Stingray City, guys. We took a little drive through town and they gave us like history and different landmarks and stuff. And now we have a 10 minute boat ride out to the sandbar. Orientation. So we've got a few different boats. There's one like giant one that all the families and kids are going on. We decided yeah, to try to stay away we're from that. that. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of screaming going on there. So we're on, we're on boat nine. Are these it? Oh god, I thought we were going to be on a catamaran. I know. <laughs> this will be good. So the rays just come here freely. They kind of know it's feeding time. That's the food. This is insane. What do you think, girl? You ready to get in there with them? Look at that big guy right there. They're huge. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> go, just go, just go. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this. They said you're supposed to shuffle your feet just in case they're like laying under the sand. So make sure you're shuffling. If you step on them, they might want to sting you. Look at this big guy. Oh, there's a second one right there too. And a third one. And a fourth one. And a fifth one. And a sixth. Ow! <laughs> so we're in the feeding zone now where they're much more aggressive. That's the holding zone. They know the food is here. So they come up and they run right into you, trying to see if you have any food. <laughs> it's rude, they just slap you! <laughs> they just sneak up on you! Why is my head always too small for these things? <laughs> You got this, Chels. Can I cut it first? Yeah. <laughs> What's it feel like? It feels like my legs when I need a shake. <laughs> <laughs> don't like me. Don't even want to. Look like you're enjoying yourself, Chels. Come on, Chelsea, smile. Come on. 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 One together, one together, get close now. Oh. But why are you turning the other way? Why are you turning this way? Huh? Why is it turned this way? We're back. We hang out for a bit. They give us lunch. You guys can hear they got the Caribbean music playing. I think we have, I think he said unlimited taste tests of their um, rum, rum punch, punch, which oh, sounds, I see them setting it up. sounds like perfection. And then we've still got, so after this is over, we're still gonna have like three or four hours on the island. We wanna go explore around because when you think of Antigua, they're known for like all their white sand beaches. It's supposed to be. 65 if you go yeah. to a different white sand beach every day of the year. 
It's supposed to be one of the best places in the Caribbean for beaches. And obviously, I mean, this is beautiful, but it's not a white sand beach. No. So we've got to go find one of those. God, he's beautiful. Look at all those colors. Look at those blues. He knows it too. Yeah, he's showing it He gave me the booty. Hi, Brady. Oh, he likes you. Hi. This crazy blonde lady is yelling hello at us. Wait, upside down. <laughs> hello. Rum punch time. It smells delicious. Cheers. It's good. Really good. It's a lot of rum. We made it back to port. This is where we started the adventure so far today. I think we're going to venture into town try to find some local food and then we're going to take a cab over to the beach and see if we can explore the beaches for a little bit. We still have like four and a half, five hours or so, so try to make the most of it. This is a pretty cool little area. There's a restaurant here we could try if we wanted. What do you think? It's a sweet and spicy passion fruit dip, which is kind of interesting really good. with some fried chicken wings. I like it a lot. It's kind of more of a local dish. Picked up some local hot sauce. Just about every island we ever go to, we have to try it out. <laughs> this one's we, supposed to be pretty crazy. We got a fairly hot one. We didn't get the hottest. It has a great flavor, but that, that's like, it's so It's spicy. Rough. She actually, on the bus that we were on on the tour, she said that it's hot going in and going out. So, got to be careful I mean, about that. We just took a 20 minute cab ride from, uh, from the port. There's a bunch of beaches like this all around, but we basically wanted to go to the one that was gonna be the least populated, so yeah. it was a little bit further away. We've got an aqua park right here for 30 bucks for an hour. We might check that out. I don't know if we have enough cash though. They can't take card. And then we've got just turquoise blue waters everywhere. Oh my goodness. Out there. Oh. This is incredible. <laughs> it's all about that b-roll that b-roll life this water feels good it's a little chilly but it feels good i really wish we could have done this thing we counted our cash we don't have enough cash to get back to the the ship if we do do it so we considered it i mean we could just not go back to the ship right that would not be a good idea. girl i don't know about you but i would put this in like one of the top five beaches i think oh. that we've ever been to the water is crystal clear and it's the sand is white and so soft it's a random beach on the side of the road they have so yeah. many of these and it's not even that nice of a day like we've got dark stormy rain clouds luckily it hasn't rained yet the sun is being blocked a little but it's still just so blue and so perfect like this is when you think about a caribbean vacation this is this is exactly what we think of so we're just we're walking down the beach hanging out we have a couple hours uh, hour and a half before we have to head back for the cruise ship Never really feel like it's enough time. It's always just kind of a quick appetizer this of each spot. This is definitely on my list of places to come back and stay. I think so. I think sure. this this in Puerto Rico, from what we've seen so far, obviously we'll go back to St. Kitts, but this in Puerto Rico are definitely, definitely moving up the list. No, 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 no. So here's the deal. <laughs> what? We put all of our trust in a local island guy to come pick us up. Do you think he's gonna be on time? Or is he going to be running on island time? I didn't even think about that and you just made me real nervous. We don't know anything about who to call to get a taxi. This beach is like on the other side of the island. So it's not like we're in like the major tourist area. He said he was going to come back and get us and he seemed like a really cool dude. So I, I want to trust him. But we got to keep our fingers crossed because sometimes people tend to get a little islandy. They drink one too many beers and then they forget about us. For He's one. supposed to be here in about 20 minutes or so so we're gonna hope that he actually comes because if he doesn't we're gonna be in trouble there's the ship we made it 
I didn't know Not if we were gonna yet. make it. So, in case you guys couldn't tell by the different car that we were in, our guy ditched us. He didn't Straight come up. back for us. I thought he would. He seems but super that cool. that was also his buddy, so maybe he does it on purpose. Yeah, maybe he knew he would take us. I don't know. But that was, uh, that was T. Sean. He took us all the way back to the ship. Honestly, no questions asked. Like when we were like, is he still coming to get us? He's like, no, but I can take you, which was cool. Stopped on the way to get gas so he could chat Shout up out the some girl. Girls. He, he was a, like a total local bro, like chatting up two girls at one time, like just absolutely hamming it up. He was pretty cool. I asked him what his favorite hangout spot was. He said he loved to go to the club and blow all his money. And he said he was a, what was it? He said he was a Ute from the ghetto and he's come up, but he still likes to do hood rat things. Oh, it seems that their x-ray machine is not working. But uh, yeah, we actually, I, I got his name. I'm gonna add him on Facebook. I'd say that we got a very truly unique local experience that I don't think yes. Royal Caribbean, this was not an officially sponsored Royal actually, Caribbean. When we when we got off of the tour bus earlier, she specifically was like, if they're not wearing this thing, they're not a taxi, do not get in the car. Do not car. get in the car with them. And we ended up doing it anyway. So it was a good time, but we made it back. Let's get back on this baby. Look at how big and beautiful she is, babe. Beautiful. I wish this is something that could translate better in these videos. And I realize sometimes we don't really show it, but it's like, yeah. it's just so impressive to see this in person. And this isn't even the biggest. No. This is this is now like the second place like for their size. class of ships. Yeah. But this is just insane. What up, girl? You're looking cute. I like your hair. Thanks. You look nice. Anyway, it's nighttime out now. It's how many hours later? I went into a fifth dimension, so I'm at least two. I'm still not 110 percent, so I'm trying to I'm trying to fight through this. I took a little nap. I'm okay now. Uh, what we're doing is we are going to be trying the third specialty restaurant on the ship tonight. We wanted to be able to show you guys all three, so we started with Sabor, then we did Chops, and now tonight we're doing Giovanni's, which we've actually never done nope. on any no, of the ships. Now. And we've heard good things, but we've just never done it. So we're going to try that out. <laughs> What is happening right now? I love it! Girl, you're so hot. You burn me. <laughs> I actually really like a lot of the art on this ship, but some of it's a little bit weird. I don't know why this says you burn me, but I like the look of it. Yeah, it's cool. How is this stuff so good? So good. Whenever we go to an Italian spot that has the oil and vinegar, or oil and balsamic, is that, yeah. This stuff is so good. Oh. So for apps, we are going to be starting with a buffalo mozzarella and then a meat and cheese plate, which I've never seen this stuff come with a meat and cheese plate before, but we've got cold cuts and cheeses there on the side. Looks absolutely amazing. We both got the carbonara because we're obsessed. And then we also got a bolognese spaghetti type deal in the middle to split, which is ridiculous. We each got a pasta entree and then we also got a pasta to split. He was pressuring us. He said we had to. I feel pregnant. I mean, I legitimately like this. This is what being pregnant feels like. That was so much pasta. My stomach. I'm wearing like a non-fitted maxi dress, and my stomach is pushing <laughs> out. I feel like uh, I'm gonna die. All right, I, I, it, it's literally driving me crazy because this is like two days in a row now where we haven't really gone out and done anything and usually when we're on these cruises we try to do every little thing we possibly can and it makes me feel like I'm wasting this time but I literally like I feel like I cannot I cannot keep on I'm destroyed honestly I really I don't know I don't know what don't this stop is stop putting the camera on me I don't know what this I don't know There's if, like be Twitter rumors <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what it is. It's like I, I feel kind of sick, but not really sick, but it's enough to like not feel good and not feel like myself. I don't know. It's weird. So I think we're going to end the vlog here. I'm sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We had a fantastic time today. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. My we're going to be in St. Lucia and we're going to be we're going to take a pirate ship to a volcano where we are going to rub volcanic mud all over ourselves. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. So hope you guys are excited for that. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.